need your l Take that! In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect Ilfarn. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of camaraderie. May its power strike down all who oppose you and your allies. The first part of the ritual is complete. Our enemy's home is everywhere darkness lies. Know that though the King of Shadows may become legions, this ritual may still be used to drive him back. Weapons to some use. Through blood, Chuck. Right, Botic. At their throats, cut them down. down. Dear John Queedy Day. A ren ren has an avoc. A ren ren has an avoc.
Yes. Yes. The dust upon the floor stirs beneath your feet. What brings one of flesh and blood to this empire of spirits? Has the Guardian returned then? I heard the whispers, but I did not believe. His echoes are strong in this place, and the tides of spirits ebb and flow, signifying little. Perhaps I do. Ages pass and names change. I have existed longer as a spirit than as a breathing blooded elf, and I know little of the world beyond my books. The Guardian was once a man, a hero of Ilfarn in days long gone. He saw more clearly than most. He saw the threats that might destroy all we had built, and he sacrificed everything that our empire might live. A creature of magic he became, and an extension of the very weave. Our enemies, the men of Netheril, feared to face him, so they turned their eyes to weaker prey. By the Guardian's sacrifice, Ilvan was saved. 
We thought the weave eternal, an endless font of life from which the Guardian might draw. In this, we were wrong. The weave failed, and the Guardian faced a choice. Allow himself to die and leave Ilfarn undefended, or draw his life from another source. For the sake of his people, the Guardian turned to the weave's dark twin, and thus, he became a creature of shadow. The statue lies within the stone communion tree, a blending of arboreal and terrestrial. It symbolized the union of Ilfarn's dwarven and elven peoples. Opening the tree requires similar unity. Three elves and three dwarves of Ilfarn spaced equally around its trunk. Without these six, the tree will remain close to you. Spirits of Ilfarn dwell here. Elves and dwarves who were bound closely to the Guardian and the man he was in life. His memory hangs heavy on their souls. If you gather these spirits to you, then the tree shall open to reveal what it cradles within. It is not so simple. Just as the Guardian has fallen into shadow, so have those who were tied to him. Their torment has spawned a legion of foul undead, manifestations of their pain and sorrow. Destroy these undead, and I believe their spirits would reappear, for a time at least. Yes, but there is more. More that is my doing, I'm afraid. If you intend to bring spirits to the communion tree, you must undo the wards on the walls of these ruins. The ghost lights, which keep the spirits at bay. The touch of the living is enough. When they are touched by one that lives, they will go out. And once they are extinguished, the spirits may pass. Is it done then? Has the fool ended himself? Or did the ritual fail entirely? This shade is cycling through events of the past, and perhaps has been ever since its death. I cannot say this for certain, but it is likely the one he is speaking of is the one who became the Guardian. What? Did that foul dwarf send you? That Anias? Bah! What does it matter? I'll follow.